Hey guys, it's Cord Ross and Web 6 News. Today we're breaking down some Rainbow Six Siege lore present in the new map layer in the next season of Rainbow Six Siege. And this all is about Damus and his master plan to spread a bioweapon around the world and we're going to be breaking down how he plans to do it. So let's start with how this bioweapon is assembled. And that all begins in this room where one part blue goo is put into the warhead. You then move to the next station where some purple or pink goo is added in. And then finally you go to the last station where you add in the green goo. Now presumably these all get combined together to create some sort of dangerous weapon. But they also could be separate weapons. I'm going to go with the assumption here that they all get assembled together into one weapon. Maybe when it detonates they all mix together and make something rather toxic. And to give you an idea of the symptoms of this weapon, have a listen to a little snippet of this audio log that is present on the map. Four patients this week presenting with identical symptoms. Nausea, headache, and claiming to hear a piercing noise accompanied by extreme inner pain. The cause is undetermined. Autopsy results of the deceased personnel show a foreign biological agent present in the lungs. I've never seen anything like it before, but I worry this has something to do with the research lab. So certainly a deadly weapon. Now this warhead is then taken into the next room where it is attached to the body of the delivery system. Now I thought these were torpedoes, like a stubby nose, small fins on the back. I got very much torpedo vibes. However, I then seen concept art which showed these as missiles, but I was able to go super detective on this and figure out exactly what these are because the room is called missile. So these are missiles. Once you're done assembling these, they go into temporary storage where they're then moved from there into red containers. These can carry about three missiles each. From there, they are then shipped along missile hallway into the warehouse, where we have a selection of different size crates, very much stacked heavily pilly here for being a very dangerous weapon. Now, it is quite possible that the people actually moving these didn't know that they were extremely dangerous, because DMS in the map does actually have everything segregated. So every level and different sections only know what they are doing. They don't even know what's happening next door. Now in this warehouse, they also have some very similar teal boxes as well. So I'm just kind of assuming they were working with the teal boxes ran out and then they're using the red ones. But who knows? Then what happens is these boxes are moved to the rib boats. And there's quite a few of these in the dock outside. And then there's a river system that leads out to the ocean. Now these boats are carrying at least 15 missiles each and we did know that Demos's ship, the Heartbreaker, was off the Portugal coast where this is located and it was specifically a cargo ship so presumably hundreds if not thousands of these missiles have escaped on this vessel probably with Demos aboard as well. Now in the cartoon that accompanies this season we see Wolfguard attacking Demos's lair and they are successfully able to infiltrate however they are not able to rescue hostages. Now, I'm thinking these hostages are actually just the staff members that were working on the bioweapon, the on-site doctor and all that. I presume that these guys were actually just eliminated. So the details Rainbow Six has on what's going on is quite limited, but we can take away from the R6 room that's present on the map, which has plans for attacking tower, which we've seen in a previous cartoon. We also see plans to attack Emerald Plains. Now, I don't believe they'll use the bioweapon to attack Emerald Plains. I believe they're going there to actually take someone hostage. Whoever this man is, we currently don't know, but I'm presuming that is the target. And of course, this story is going to come to its next climax, presumably at the Sixth Invitational in February, where they'll have, a, if they do their usual stuff, a very high quality CGI, which will look sensational and hopefully have quite an interesting story to watch. We will certainly see. And if you don't want to be totally confused when that shows up and Demos is doing stuff with missiles and going to Emerald Plains and stuff like that, then make sure you've watched this video and tell your friends about it. There's also a couple of notes I want to chuck in here. So let's talk about something that I don't think is connected, but could be. So jumping back a little bit, you would have maybe seen the cartoon where Fenrir was introduced and he was working for Demis. He was making a bioweapon, basically, and it was a toxic gas that made people so scared that they seemed to just attack each other. Now the one that Rainbow Six uses as we see in game now is kind of like a diluted version that kind of messes up your vision and stuff like that but doesn't actually cause any major uh, consequences. Whereas the one he did develop for Deimos would cause people to fight each other to the death kind of like zombies. And that takes us to another easter egg that is present on the map. Now I'm hoping and I think this is just a nice little teaser to Outbreak. 
but there is a map of Truth and Consequences, New Mexico in the United States. This is where Outbreak happened, but not in the Siege universe. Outbreak was an alternate timeline that never actually happened in Siege, so in Siege's lore, it doesn't exist. But let's just say, did something still land there in this timeline? But instead of being viral, it was something more biological, and this then led to the research that Fenrir did in the future, which takes us here. I'm going to guess that it's not the case. And this is just a fun little Easter egg to Outbreak. But I will say that the actual toxin that they were trying to develop did make people go crazy and start attacking each other. So you could imagine a mission, let's say if they actually add in some story content to Siege's gameplay, you could easily add in at some point a mission where you have a bunch of civilians trying to attack you and you've got to take them down with non-lethal force. Now there is a bunch of other easter eggs on this map that are all to do with all kinds of things in Siege and hopefully they've not all been discovered yet by the time this gets out of the test server but there is one weapon that is present on the map that I think is far more powerful than any bio weapon and that is this one. The Mac 11 with ACOG. Nice little easter egg hidden in the map. And it was Titanium Rollo that found that one. So now let's go on to conclusion and talk about what might be happening next. We've got a couple of things. So first of all, Demis is looking to go to Emerald Plains, I think, to kidnap that dude, take him hostage. And we don't know who the heck that guy is, but I'm presuming he's going to go get him for some reason. Then Demis also has the Heartbreaker. I still think this is going to be a playable map in the future, but who knows when now. And then we've also got the missiles with bioweapons that, of course, could be launched anywhere from the ship to at any target. So who knows what the heck the plan is. I don't also know what the hell Damus's end goal is. As a villain, he feels a bit flat right now because I've got no clue what he's actually trying to do. There's also, this was another one found by Titanium Rolo, there is a bunch of uh, masks that blink and they have Morse code and it comes out to saying, it all begins with Recruit. And I've got no idea what that is leading to. But anyway guys, let me know what you all think of this in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.